We are going to Bali. Yo, we are going to Bali, and we are excited for that. Yeah, we are. This, this is gonna my, be uh, fun, seriously. This is my friend Anis. We met uh, at that couch surfing event uh, down by the Marina Bay Sands, and, and now we're going to Bali on a whim for like five or di five days. For five days, yeah. yeah it's gonna be days. fun. Seriously. It's gonna be such a good time. Yeah, excited. So it's our first day in Bali. We're gonna go out exploring. Uh, we're gonna go down to the beach and check out the markets on the way and uh, see what we have to do. So stay tuned. Stay see tuned. You later. Jonas and I have been out exploring the town a little bit and we got hungry so we thought we'd stop and get some lunch. Um, everywhere is closing down uh, early for the festivities. Hey, so let me just jump in real quick and talk about these festivities a little bit. So we were in Bali over the Balinese New Year. Um, they have this huge celebration. They have kind of a the Balinese um, Saka calendar it is a little bit different than the Gregorian calendar that the rest of us use. So they have a new year that actually shifts a couple days every year, and we were there for that. So these festivities is that, um, and basically it's almost a week of like stuff going on. So three to four days before we were there, they have like this big procession that takes some sacred items, and they go and they like um, go down by the ocean, and they use the ocean water to purify these sacred items. And then there's a couple days between that and when we were there. So this day that we were there, um, there was a parade that goes on that day where people in the town, um, or I guess all throughout Bali, have made these giant statues that are um, like representations of demonic figures, and they call them Uga Uga. Um, so they have these demonic statues that they go and they parade them through the town, and uh, it's kind of like at nighttime that all this happens. So they parade them through the town, and... Then they had a stage built in town, and so they would take these up on that stage. And there was some kind of a show or performance that was going on. And then at the end of that, um, I understand that some of those, I guess, get burned. So then the next day after that is Niepi, which is the day of silence. And on this day, um, no one's allowed to go out, no one's allowed to work. Like, everything on the entire island is closed, and... Um, the idea is that uh, you are like silent that way as the evil spirits are passing over the island then they think that it's uninhabited so they don't stop and they just keep going on their way and pass over. So no one's allowed to go outside, no one's allowed to um, make any noise, no one's supposed to really be like using fire or electricity at all and you're supposed to just spend the day at home um, like in silence and meditation and so tourists are exempt from some of those things, but they still are not allowed to go outside, and we're still not allowed to be like polluting with light or anything like that. So as long as we stay in our hotel and keep uh, our windows covered so we're not letting light out, then we're okay. And they do have like enforcers that walk around in there, uh, like around in the streets. So if they catch people out or if they see light coming out of houses, then they'll go and, you know, rectify that situation. So for light coming out of a house, they'll knock on your door and say, hey, you need to get rid of that light. And if they catch people out, then I think they, like, take you to prison for the night or something. So not a great thing to be out on that night. Um, yeah, so really an interesting festival, and it was really cool to get to see that. So we'll go ahead and jump back to the video, and as I was saying... Everywhere is closing down uh, early for the festivities, so we ended up going to like a 24-hour market and we got some little cups of noodles, uh, one for each of us, and then like a box of coconut uh, biscuits, and it was $25,000. Boy, so expensive here, man. And then you look at the conversion, and it's not so bad. That's like $2.50 Sydney. <laughs> For the whole is, lunch. Yeah, for the whole lunch. Yeah. So it's, I don't know, like $2 US. Not too bad. Pretty good stuff. Uh, so yeah, now we're on our way to the beach. We made it to the beach! Woo! We made it! Woohoo! 
He's gonna go swimming. <laughs> So today is the silent day. And one of the things that comes along with that is a silent night. So tonight, there's supposed to be no light outside. Um, you're not really supposed to use light inside if you're like really following along. Um, you are allowed to as long as it doesn't go out of your house though. So everyone has to have curtains over their windows and uh, no one's out driving and no lights on the outsides of houses are on or anything like that. Which as a consequence means there is fantastic stars tonight. They're so nice. Uh, we went out and looked at them for a little while, Honest and I, and then we went and took some photos of the stars and we got a few members of the staff at the hotel that we're staying at to take us up onto the roof where we could do some nice photography up there as well. And we got photos with us and photos with them and with just the huge stars in the background. And it's so, so nice. It's just beautiful.